Wings of Fire for the Dragonet Prophecy by T. Sutherland Prologue a, dra a dragon was trying to hide in the storm. Lightning flickered across the dark clouds. Hitherto clutched his fragile cargo closer. If he could make it over the mountains, he'll be safe. He escaped the Sky Dragon's palace unseen and the secret cave was so close. But his fifth has, ha, had not been as stealthy as he thought, and eyes as black as obsidian were already tracking him down from below. The enormous dragons on the mountain ledge had pale gold scales that radiated heat like a desert horizon. Her black eyes narrowed, watching the gleam of silver wings up, far up, up in the clouds. She flicked her tail and behind her two more dragons rose to the sky and dove into the heart of a storm. A piercing shriek echoed off the mountains as the talons seized the moon pale ice dragon. Bind his mouth, the waiting dragon ordered as her soldiers dropped hitherto on the slick wet ledge in front of her. He was already inhaling, ready to attack. Quickly! One of the soldiers grabbed a chain from the pile of his smouldering coals and threw it around the ice dragon's snout, clapping his jaws together with a sizzling smell of burning scales. He returned let out a muffled scream. Too late, the sand, dra the sand dragon forked tongue slivered in and out of her mouth. You won't be using your freezing death breath, breath on us, I swing. He was carrying this queen burn, said one of the soldiers, handing her a dragon egg. Burn squinted up at the egg, fought, her, fought through the downpour. This is not an ice wing egg, she hissed. You stole this from the ice wing. No. <laughs> Skywing Palace. The ice wing stared back at her, hissing. Steam circled his, his snout where the hot chains met cold silver scales. You thought you got away unnoticed, didn't you? Ben said. My Skywing ally's is an ally is not a fool. Queen Scarlet knows everything that happens in her kingdom. Her lookouts reported an icing thief sneaking away, and I decided to fight you might add some violence to my boring visit. Burn held the large egg up to the light of a fire and turned it slowly. Red and golden shimmered below the pale smooth surface. Yes, this is a skywing egg about to hatch. Burn mused. Why would my sister send you to steal a skywing dragon egg to blaze hates any dragons younger and prettier than she is? She thought for a moment as Frame drummed on the ledge around her. Unless... The brightest night is tomorrow. Her tail flicked up like a scorpion with a poisonous barb inches from Hirata's eyes. You're not in Blaze's army, are you? You're one of those inspired underground peacemongers. The talents of peace, said one, one of the soldiers. You mean they're real? Burns nodded. A few worms crying over a little blood unwrapped him. Unwrap his chains, he won't be able to freeze us and he'll, until his scales cut all down. The enormous sand dragon leaned closer as, as her pulled, soldiers pulled the chains away. Tell me, Ice Dragon, do you really think that in this pompous old Nightwing prophecy, haven't enough dragons died for your war? snarled Hirata, wincing at the pain in his jaws. All of Pyra has suffered for the last 12 years. The prophecy says, I don't care! No prophecy decides what happens to me, Burn interrupted. I'm not letting a bunch of birds or baby dragons choose when, when I die or what I bow to. We can have peace when my sisters are dead, and I am queen of the Sandwings. Her venomous tail dipped close to the silver dragons. Rain padded on Hirata's scales. 
He glared up at her. The dragonettes are coming, whether you like it or not, and they'll choose who's, who the next Sandwing Queen should be. Really? Fern stepped back and turned the egg slowly between her, her tongues. Her forked tongue slipped and out of her smile. So, I swing. Is this egg a part of your pathetic prophecy? Hitherto went the steel. Burn tapped slightly on the eggshell with one long talon. Hello, she called. Is there a dragonette of destiny in there? Ready to come out and end this big bad war? Leave it alone. Hitherto choked down. Tell me, Burn said. What becomes of your precious prophecy if one of the five dragonets is never hatched at all? You wouldn't, he said. No one would harm a dragon egg. His blue eyes were fixed desperately on her talons. No wings of sky to help save the world, Burn said. What a sad, sad story. She began tossing the egg from one front claw to the other. I guess that means you should be a very, very careful with this terrible, important little oops. <gasps> with a exaggerated lunge, Burn pretended that the red text was slipping through her talons and then she let it fall over the side of her cliff into the rocky darkness below. No! Hitherto shrieked. He threw off the two soldiers and flung himself towards the edge. Burn slammed her massive claws down on her neck. So much for destiny, so much for your tragic little movement. You're a monster, the icing gasped, writhing, writhing under her talons. His voice cracked with despair. They will never give up. The dragonets, the dragonets will come and stomp, stop this war. Burn leaned down and to hiss in his, into his ear. Even if they do, it will be far too late for you. Her claws ripped through the silver dragon's wings, shredding them as Hirata screamed in agony. With a swift movement, movement, she stabbed her poisonous tail through his skull and flung the long silver body over, over the edge of a cliff. The ice dragon screamed, cut off long before the echoes of his, his corpse slamming into the rocks below. The sand wings turned her black eyes to, to her soul, it's perfect, she said. That should be the last we hear about that stupid prophecy. She held out her tongue so the rain could wash away the glistening dragon blood. Let's go find something else to kill. The three dragons spread their wings and lifted off into the dark clouds. Sometime later, far below a, dra a large dragon the colour of rust crawled over the rocks of a, to, to the broken body of the ice wing. She nudged her side and lifted a shard of the eggshell from underneath it, then slipped back into the labyrinth of, of caves under the cliff. Stone walls brushed against her wings. She breathed out a plume of flames to light her way across the dark passage deep into the mountains. I stand with a palace of peace hissed the voice in the shadows. Kestrel, is that you? We await the wings of fire, answered the writer. Dragon, a blue-green sea wing emerged from the side cave and she ch tossed the eggshell at her feet. Not that it'll do us any good now, she snarled. Hirta is dead. The sea wings stared at the eggshell, but the Skywing egg broken. Gone. It's over, Webs. It can't be, he said. Tomorrow is the brightest night. The three moons will all be full for the first time in a century. The tracking net to nets of a prophecy have, have, have to hatch tomorrow. Well, one of them is already dead, Kestrel said. Rage flicked in her eyes. If I knew I should have stolen the Skywing egg myself. I know this guy, Kingdom. They wouldn't have caught me a second time. Bib grimaced, scratching one claw over the gills across his neck. Asha is dead too. Asha, a spurt of flame sh shot from Kestrel's nose, 
how coordinate battle between blades, blades and blisters forces over right here. She made it with a red blood, with a red muttering egg, but she died of her wounds soon after. <sighs> so it's just you and me, Doom, to raise the little worms. For a prophecy that can never be fulfilled, Let, let's break these the cursed eggs now and be done with it. We'll be long gone before the talents of peace return for the Dragonets. No! Rips hissed, keeping the Dragonets alive for the next eight years is more important than anything if you don't want to be a part of that. Alright, enough. Kestrel snapped. I'm the strongest dragon in the talents of peace. You, you need me. It doesn't matter how I feel about nasty little dragonets. She eyed the, the eggshell on the floor, rubbing her scared palms together. Although I thought at least one of them would be a scaring. I'll find us a fifth dragonet, Rips pushed past the scales, scra scraping against the rocks. There's no way back into the Skyrim Kingdom, brainless. They'll be guiding the hatchery closely now. Then I'll get an egg, in, e an egg somewhere else, he said grimly. The railings don't even count their eggs. I couldn't take I could take one from the rainforest without anyone noticing. Of all the horrible ideas, Kestrel said with a shudder. Railings are wretched creatures, nothing like sky wings. We have to do something, Webb said. He hissed as his tail sent the eggshell scattering across the floor. In eight years, if the talents of peace will come looking for five dragonets, for prophecy says five, and we're going to make it come true, whatever it takes. Alright, that was the prologue for The Wings of Fire, the dragonet's prophecy. This is my first dramatic reading, so. Feel free to leave a comment on, on how I did and peace out.